in this box is a wee little bag, not a tiny bag, just a small bag that I've had my eye on for close to a year now, something like that, and it's finally mine. Stay tuned to see what I got. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage, where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. This bag has been on my radar for a while, like I said, about a year and close to a year. And I've seen it in another size, so the size up from this, a couple of times available to me. And it's not one you see very often in person or even online. The size up from this popped up at TJ Maxx, maybe in the spring, maybe in the summer. And I was contemplating buying it because it was so nice, but I really wanted the smaller size that I ended up with here. And then I was at the airport at one of the brand's shops and they had it in a display case outside the store. <sighs> so pretty. It's a special finish. And I was tempted again then, but then I didn't want to carry it on the airplane, so I passed. And finally, just recently, this came available on the Real Real, And it was a great price, so I snatched it up. And now I'm gonna open the box and show you what it is. Oh, this is interesting. I just noticed something. I mean, it feels like it's in here and it's probably what it is. However, let me cover my address. Can you see how the brown packing tape is ripped looking, like there and across the way? And then it has shiny clear tape on top of it. So that brown tape was already cut open, and what I just cut was just the clear tape. That's not normal. I've heard before of people having boxes opened before they've arrived. Yeah, this is the right bag. Okay, that's good. That's weird. That's the first time I've seen that happen before. So. This came in a real, real dust bag. I was expecting it to be not flattened, but it's been flattened. I don't think that'll hurt anything, but it's much softer than I thought it was going to be. When I've seen it, it has not been flat, and it's looked like a very, and felt like a very structured bag. Are we ready? Here we go. Let's get it fluffed out for you. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, that's better. I'll bring it closer. Here's the whole thing. I'll give you a quick spin of it, and then I'll bring it closer so you can see the bag better. And let's get it in focus. There we are. It comes with this little short handle strap. I guess I should tell you what it is. I just assume you know things. It is a Longchamp Le Pliage in the extra small size in leather that's embossed in a mock crocodile. It has silver hardware. It only has this short little strap instead of a crossbody, which I was aware of, and that is fine with me because I have plenty of crossbody straps I can attach to that. On that hardware, it has these little studs that stick out. Let's focus, shall we? On that hardware, it has these little studs that stick out, which is a really cool detail. And I know they did these short straps on a few of these bags. I don't really understand them since you have these short straps that are handheld and you can't put this over your arm or, you know, it's still handheld. It's just weird, but I like the studs focus. Here is the front of the bag, and as I turn it, you'll be able to see the side of the bag, and then, oh my gosh, the back of the bag, and then the other side, and look at that, the bottom, whoa, and then the top. You have these two little handles. The camera keeps unfocusing, and then in classic Le Pliage style, you have this little, uh, let's replay that, in classic Le Pliage style, you have this little flap, and on top of the bag, this little handle is getting in the way. I'm going to take it off. I like this a lot more than I thought I would. There are little D-rings there to hold that pesky strap. And then you unzip it. It, of course, has the little coin-shaped thing. And inside, I just stuffed it with some of these charcoal packs. Inside, it is lined in fabric. There's a slip pocket on the back wall. And on the front wall, no pocket at all. I can pair that with this plain black strap with silver hardware from Dress Up Your Purse. And of course, I will have them linked below with my discount code. Or better yet, pair it with my Rexy chain and leather strap from Coach which I love. I have this in the gunmetal hardware and the gold hardware. Best bag straps ever. Oh, that's so much better. And I can make this a shoulder bag like so. Fabulous. The gunmetal on the coach strap doesn't match the hardware on this. The gunmetal 
is more gunmetal, and this is definitely more silver hardware. I also have this thin crossbody strap. Now this one has gold hardware. I need to get one with silver, so I'll pair that with it, and I'll do a cheeky reveal of something I haven't shown you yet. I recently picked up this strap, pre-loved. It's a Coach Basquiat collaboration. Now this has antiqued gold hardware, so that also does not match. This thing is brand new. It still has the plastic and everything on it, but it's edgy, and I could pair that with the bag. Let's see how these look. For some reason, I'm leaving the plastic on the strap right now. Not entirely sure why, because I don't have any intention of selling it. There it is, famous. And it looks just like the other one on my shoulder, but it says famous, you know, so it's different. Let's see how it looks with the crossbody strap. That's really my favorite way to wear these bags is crossbody. It's just the easiest and it works well. And I am still on the lookout for this bag, the L'Enchamp Le Pliage in black and nylon. Okay, there it is, crossbody. Absolutely fabulous. Love this bag. I, I can't, I don't even know how many of these bags that I have. I've sold a few and kept my very favorites. I think I still have about four or five, including this one now. They're just wonderful. They're such a fantastic size and you can find them in a range of colors and, and I really can't rave about them enough. In fact, there's one at Saks right now that I've had my eye on for quite a while. It's been up a long time. I'm surprised it's not all sold out by now. It's black leather, but it has gold hardware. It's so pretty, but it's $500 and I haven't wanted to pay that much for it, but I may treat myself at some point because I know how much I love these bags and use them. This is pretty soft, by the way. It's not nearly as structured as I thought it would be. I'm so happy with it. Almost didn't buy it because I thought it might be too structured and I've been holding out, I've passed up on a few bags because I'm holding out for the black nylon. I check every day. Because like I always tell you guys, the big tip, well, two big tips with the Real Real. they post new listings twice a day, once at 9 a.m. Central Time and once at 6 p.m. Central Time. And the other big tip, something that I do, is if you join the First Look membership, which is $12 a month and it's easy to cancel, you get 24 hour early access to those new listings. So you get to see it 24 hours before, you know, the riffraff. And I have found a lot of bags that way that I've got great deals on or hard to find bags definitely would have been sold out in those 24 hours. And I would have completely missed them if I hadn't been a member. And I know I always say this stuff and I know some of you are probably tired of hearing it, but I say it because if you're really looking for something special, those tips have worked for me. I found so many great deals using those tips and I get a lot of comments when I find something great and unbox something great. And people say, oh, you get the best deals. Yeah, that's because I'm serious about it. I do these things to give me a little bit of an advantage. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.